My dears, are you interested to know how sound is produced? Yes, sound travels in the form of waves from one place to another and sound is produced due to the vibrations of any objects. Oh, one minute, do you know what is a wave? Yes, a wave is a disturbance in a medium which moves from one place to another and carries energy without a net movement of particles. So then what is vibration? Yes, it is a periodic back and forth motion of the particles in an elastic body or a medium. To understand this, let's do an activity. For that, first take a tuning fork. How can we make it vibrate? Yes, by hitting it with something. Here we can use a rubber hammer or a rubber pad to make it vibrate. So now let's strike this rubber hammer with the tuning fork. See, it is vibrating. Now can you hear the vibrating sound? No, right? So bring it near to our ear. Yes. When the prong of tuning fork struck against the rubber hammer, it starts to vibrate and produces sound. But not that much sound. Champs, do you want to feel the vibrations? Now you will think how it is possible to feel the vibrations. There is a way. Again hit the tuning fork with the rubber hammer and touch one of the prong of the tuning fork. Yes, I can also feel the vibrations. So champs, here we experienced the vibrations. Now I have a question for you. Can a vibrating object move another object? Let's see. For that, we want some apparatus. First, let's take a tennis ball and take a thread and make a note at the one end of the thread. Now insert the tennis ball carefully through the thread and suspend it from a support. Now let's take a tuning fork and make it vibrate using a rubber hammer. Now let's take this vibrating tuning fork near to the tennis ball. Here we can see that when the vibrating tuning fork gently touches the tennis ball, the ball set into vibrations. So, we can conclude that a vibrating object can make another object vibrate. Let's do one more activity. Take a glass and pour water in it up to its brim. Now, let's take a tuning fork and make it vibrate using a rubber hammer. Let's take this tuning fork near to the water filled glass. Let's gently touch the water surface by using the tuning fork. What can you observe here? Yes, when one of the prong of the vibrating tuning fork touches the water surface, wave begins to spread out on the surface from the point where the tuning fork touches the water surface. Now, again take the tuning fork and make it vibrate using the rubber hammer. This time we are going to dip it inside the water. And let's observe what happens. When the ends of the both the prongs touches the water surface, waves spread out from both these ends and these waves superimposed on each other and forms interference fringes. So students, here we have done two activities. From this, what can we conclude? Yes, we can produce sound without any vibrating object. Now let's do very interesting experiment. Take a rubber band and tie it in between your fingers. Now stretch your fingers and leave it. Here we can observe that the rubber band is vibrating. And by close observation, we can hear some twang sound. This sound is produced only due to vibrations. Have you ever enjoyed such vibrational sound? Yes, you might have listened such soul soothing sound of musical instruments. There are different kinds of musical instruments. 
Do you want to know which are they? Yes, for that let's go to a musical instrument store. See, here we have different kinds of instruments. Now, let's discuss which part of the instrument vibrate to produce sound. Depending on the type of vibrations, instruments are classified into three. They are wind or reed instruments, stringed instruments and percussion instruments. First, let's go to the side of wind or reed instruments. Here we have flute, nagasaram, trumpets and shehanai. Now we can go to the side of stringed instruments. Here we have sitar, guitar, veena and violin. Now we can go to the side of percussion instruments. Here we have tabala, drum and mridanga. Now we can discuss in these instruments which part of the instrument vibrate to produce sound. In the case of wind or reed instrument, the air column vibrates and then produces sound. The vibration produced by blowing in air through the mouth directly or through the reed. Now, in the case of stringed instrument, the stretched string of these instrument vibrate when they are plucked or played with a bow. The pitch of the sound produced by these instrument can be altered by changing the length of the string. Now, in the case of percussion instrument, the vibration is produced by a stretched membrane when they are struck by hand or by drumstick. 